wise PSD. We have posted this video on on your request, and there are a lot of questions because most of uh, of them means most of our my members are eligible and are very much interested in this fellowship. And definitely, this is a DST fellowship, and this is a very good fellowship. But they have a lot of questions in the mind whether to proceed or not whether you are eligible or not how to proceed how to complete the application and so many questions so according to your queries according to your comments we'll discuss about each and every point step by step so that once you will register yourself for this application uh, you will not make any mistake because any step can lead to the rejection of the application So this is the new fellowship wise PhD fellowship only for the women's those who want to register and those who already registered in the PhD are eligible to get a equivalent amount of the JRF through project. If you want the detail of the application, then you just visit the previous video. The description is in the link. Go and listen all the instructions very carefully then only watch this video because once you have uh, thoughts in your mind that you are seriously eligible what are the guidelines then some questions arise in your mind and these questions fall into these categories the very first category eligibility then age branch link for the application there is a serious problem how to apply then the novelty because they have mentioned in the project proposal then the SSR activity there are a lot of questions from your side regarding the SS SSR activity want to register you want to register but you are not registered so you want to know how to proceed and the guide selection apart from this if you have any other doubt apart from these questions then just comment me so that I'll clear your doubts and you will be successfully completed your application procedure uh, and you will go to the next screening step and you will be awarded fine so we'll go step by step one by one the very first is the eligibility criteria among eligibility criteria there are a lot of questions see sir i am already registered in phd and just completed two years and i'm taking non-net fellowship can i apply in this so this is the question and these type of questions there are a lot of questions similar to this pattern so see there is a clear instruction who can apply the very first is the unemployed woman who want to pursue PhD unemployed means you are not a regular employee in any government agency or any regular services so who want to pursue PhD but there is no such clause Actually, somebody has also asked me, sir, like, is there necessary that there will be the risk, uh, there will be the gap in your career? So th there is no eligibility criteria that who can apply. There is a gap in the career is must know. Fine. You want to register PhD can apply for fellowship under vice PhD. The program is open for both candidates. Those who have not yet registered for PhD as well as who have already registered for the phd fine this is applicable for both the students now but not availing fellowship from any source so you must uh, you are free from getting any fellowship this is for those who are not getting any fellowship although this is a very important point this will clear your questions candidates who have completed two years duration in phd as in the date of applications are not eligible got it now if you have completed your two years means from the date of registration and from the date of application if like two three months are still left then i suggest you i recommend you ki apply kar do. but if you have already completed two years then you are not eligible for this this is clearly mentioned so please don't get 
confused any other still doubt then just comment me and if this eligibility point is clear then also comment me the sir eligibility point is clear huh? now the second the most important most genuine question among all is like my age is 25 then i am not able to register can a 23 years apply so there are a lot of questions the age is 23 24 and they are already registered in the phd they want to apply can they so i am so i have confirmed from the dst i am i am showing you the screenshot of the email also but before that you just go to this age guideline the minimum age to apply in the program is 27 years and the maximum is 20, 45 so 27 to 45 is the age limit now the relaxation for the three years in the upper age limit is allowed upper age limit there is a relaxation of three years but not to the lower age limit but to the upper age limit for the category student so women scientist less than 27 years are not eligible cut off date for age calculation will be the date of the submission of the vice pfc application now i'll show you the proof i have emailed the official of the dst and i get this reply from the dst itself dear dr mayank the essential eligibility age is starts at 27 years the age group is age ranges 27 to 45 i am currently out of office so please drop an email for further queries he is the scientist who is responsible who is taking care of this application so to my dear to these members i have already replied that you are not eligible you have to wait for two more years in this case uh, and in this case 23 only got it now the branch many uh, like home science home science student wants to apply agriculture students wants to apply so see there are clear instruction that there are five different categories so you have to find out whether you fall in this category or not like physical and mathematical sciences second is chemical sciences ha huh, one more thing some pharma students are asking me that i am a pha m pharma postgraduate can i apply i'm asking again and again what what, uh, what is your branch in m pharma they have not mentioned till date what is your branch if your branch is medicinal chemistry then go ahead and apply under the second category if your branch is pharmaceutical chemistry then you can apply in engineering and technology if your branch is pharmacology go ahead in life sciences so similarly you have to judge your master's category under these five branch got it now the link for the application actually most of the students are not getting from where they have to register see this is the online link online dst.gov.in and in this link you will scroll down you will get a number of applications variety of application variety of fellowships variety of collaborative projects are open so you will be confused when you click on that uh, wise phd then you won't get any registration link so the problem is that this is not the problem actually you have to make your registration as a new pi from the top of this page irrespective of the proposal when you register the system will ask you under which scheme or under which program you want to apply so just forget everything just click here new pi registration and proceed fine now the novelty this is the main question main main concern question about the novelty few few students ask me that i have already applied for the dst level 2 but the results are yet not announced true i'm completely agree results are not yet so can i apply for this till or should i wait for the dst level 2 results so i suggest you no need to wait for the dst level 2 through that same proposal do some modifications as per the demand of this scheme wise pdf wise phd the demand the requirement as per the requirement modify your proposal and submit it 
because that proposal is already a novel proposal novelty is there innovation is there that is already a new proposal so what you have to do uh, your no novel proposal is almost ready do some changes as per the protocol or as per the guidelines of this fellowship which is a wise phd fellowship so you can get the things no need to worry this is very simple novelty will be checked if you are still having any doubt you just text me email me i'll share you the details on the comment box if you are really interested then your topic your research proposal topic must be finalized because the research proposal topic must be unique if that is unique your proposal by default will be unique that so overall proposal will be novel so you have to be very careful about that now very important there is a lot of questions are that's why i have not make or stick any screenshot ssr activity what is ssr activity this is the scientific social responsibility so there are a lot of guidelines there is a proper guidelines on the dst which state that bridging science society science science or society science gap so you have to fill all these gaps then also uh, then only you can complete this ssr activity and this is that is must in the wise pdf okay i'll go to the guidelines you will understand don't do not get uh, confused ki ye kya hua humko to kuch bhi samajh nahi aaya sir na to do line ke andar khatam kar diya no no need to worry your ssr activity will be clear within next minute okay so see these are the guidelines scientific social responsibility guidelines so you have to first of all understand what are ssr guidelines and what the things are so that you can plan your activity there's a preamble just forget it need for ssr guideline why they have uh, means the utilization of science for the welfare of the people so their aim is that whatever science you are doing under any project on the your means under any mean if you are working in a science in any lab or any university or any organization then that science must be utilized uh, for the people so there must be welfare to the society that is why they are emphasizing now what you have to do i'm just going to the main a objective so so listen the first objective then you will find out the activity your science to society connect your work whatever work whatever research proposal you are planning that must be science society connection that facilitate the development or transferring the benefit of science to meet the people now science science connect creating a enabling environment for sharing of idea resources now society science connect get it the cultural changes everything must be there if you are working now what how many type of stakeholders will be there in this there are the four categories beneficiary means beneficiary who are getting benefit from your science who are the uh, who will be the beneficiary the teachers the local bodies communities women's group farmers theek hai small size medium enterprises biodiversity management committees so you have to work for the beneficiaries your project focused on the beneficiaries kisi bhi beneficiaries mein aapka kaam useful hona chahiye now who's the implementer the organization state or central universities colleges centers now the assessors assessors who are carrying out an assessment activity wo aapke universities mein honge jo assess karenge and now the supporters supporters are jo aapko fund de rahe hain kisi help mein now ab hum aa jate hain main cheez pe because aap log ko nahi samajh aa raha hoga activities so you because proposal ke andar you have to mention the ssr activities so see it is very simple do not get confused ki kaise hoga main aapko bata do see the illustrative list of the ssr activities has been mentioned very clearly lecture by scientists in school or colleges you have to plan some lectures for example aapka project jo hai that is related to some women empowerment got it it is related to some women empowerment so what you have to do you have to go in school or colleges to modulate your work 
to inspire the students which you are doing and to take up the career in science aapko batana hai wahan lecture lena hai now engagement and training you can set up the display in school public students ko har jagah par aap ye display kar sakte ho setting up or maintaining interactivity exhibit in school matlab schools mein ja ke aapko kuch activities karni hai आप कुछ ट्रेनिंग वर्कशॉप्स करा सकते हो अपने वर्क से रिलेटेड बिकॉज दैट वर्क मस्ट बी यूजफुल फॉर द सोसाइटी नाउ डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग ऑफ सॉल्यूशन टेक्नोलॉजीज शेयरिंग ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड नॉलेज थ्रू वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म सो यू हैव टू डिज़ाइन एसएसआर एक्टिविटी कि मेरा ये वर्क जब कंप्लीट होगा देन हाउ आई विल परफॉर्म द एस एक्टिविटी ये कुछ ना कुछ ड्यूरेशन के लिए बहुत ज़रूरी है जैसे साल में एक महीने कम से कम एक महीने आपको दिखाना है कि दैट यू आर एंगेज इन एस एस आर एक्टिविटी वर्किंग विद इनोवेटर्स गॉट इट ये लोकल और रूरल इनोवेटर्स के साथ आप काम करो जो आपकी टेक्नोलॉजी है उसको समझाओ साइंटिफिक एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्रेनिंग ऑफ हाई एंड साइंटिफिक स्किल्स कन्वर्टिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम्स टू द सोल्यूशन थ्रू न्यूज़ पेपर मैगजीन अदर मीडिया प्रिंट तो इस तरीके से आपको ये चीज़ें करनी है डिलीवरिंग साइंटिफिक टॉक्स ऑन पॉपुलर थीम एडिंग एन जी ओज इन द यूज़ ऑफ दिस सोशलिटी चैलेंजेस तो बहुत ईजी एक्टिविटीज़ हैं यही आपको इम्प्लीमेंट करनी है दीज आर द एस एस आर एक्टिविटीज़ नाउ आई गेस इट इज़ वेरी क्लियर बिकॉज एस एस आर एक्टिविटीज़ विल डिपेंड ऑन द वर्क विच यू आर प्लानिंग आपके काम के ऊपर होगा बट सोसाइटी में यू हैव टू प्रजेंट otherwise dst will not entertain you you have to present your science which must be implemented to the society so please be careful you have to plan you have to design your work in such a way that must be beneficial for the society got it now the last important challenge in front of you those who are in masters and you want to register in a phd that they want to register but they don't have guide so how to select the guide how to design a proposal and how to apply this proposal now rest of the things i guess uh, it's almost clear to everyone what we have to do what we have to write how to have to proceed now the guide selection what you will do you have to choose the department the place which is best suitable for you for example i am the student of uh, let's say chemistry so i'll choose some college some state university some central university or an autonomous institution where chemical work is going on and somebody is known to me and if somebody is not known to you no problem you just email them this application is open round the year you just email how to email i have already posted uploaded the details on my video you can just check because once you will communicate with the professor please be mail it very seriously do not mail it casually so what you have to do you have to approach that guide email them that uh, this is uh, this is the thing this is your profile this is your background and you want to apply in a wise ph uh, phd fellowship through this proposal proposal must be very short if you are communicating with the supervisor so once they will give you an clearance a green signal like okay go ahead apply because that means if you will get the scholarship you will get this fellowship for the phd then your guide will take you will register you under his or her supervision so you have to email them and try to uh, communicate as much as possible so that they will be ready to take you and once they'll confirm their presence then you have to upload all the details for the guide selection for the proposal each and everything so this is the thing you have to approach how to approach how to finalize the guide how to register once uh, he or she will be ready and dst will uh, approve your proposal then you will get the registration through any mail that is not a problem at all so this is all about so how proposal will be more productive you have to focus it so make your uh, innovative or novel proposal approach the guide and try 
to finalize the deal i can say a deal because once the guide will be ready your deal can be initiated so he'll be ready then plan your proposal draft your proposal as per the guidelines do not go anywhere stick to the guidelines whatever dst says and just apply it because it's uh, open round the year so no need to worry so this is all about if you are still any doubt then you can just text me telegram me join the telegram group dm me email me just to clear your doubt so thank you so much for watching i hope this will clear all your doubt regarding the wise p hd fellowship from the dst thank you have a nice day bye bye take care don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell notification